Ah, good day everyone, and welcome to today's video. So, as you can see, I'm clearly in a hotel room. Uh, <laughs> I needed to record a gaming episode, so I figured I would go back on the Yarn app and read a scary story. And as you guys know, Yarn is a chat fiction app where they have a bunch of scary and funny stories. I did one before, um, and you guys really liked it, but I want to do another story today. So, today we are going to be reading the story bruises and it's kind of a creepy setting <laughs> it's a little dark out so um yeah without further ado let's get on with the video okay so as you guys can clearly see on the screen there are a lot of dang stories today we are going to start with bruises let's see what's going on in this oh david mom where's the ad bill honestly me one time my mom gave me nyquil when i woke up so i already relate to this story <laughs> Um, okay, continue reading. Uh, mom, we don't have any. What kind of mom is this who doesn't have Advil at the ready in your home? Okay. Dad and I can pick some up on the way home from dinner. You better, but we're running a little late. Hmm. Great parenting. I see. If it was my parents, I'd make them leave their dinner early and come get me some Advil. Ugh, fine. Are you okay? Oh, now she cares. If you really cared, Mom, you would leave Dad and you would come home immediately. You sound mad. Yes, I'm mad. I have a headache. Dang it. I'm not mad. I'm just upset. <laughs> um, I'm just tired of waking up with bruises. What? I know, sweetie. We'll figure, the, figure it out this week. She is not the best mom. She's like, yeah, you know what? You got bruises. We'll figure it out sometime. It just hurts so much, mom. I wake up in so much pain. This is so sad. What is going on with this poor David kid? Try and get some sleep. <laughs> I am trying. You guys need to fix the air conditioning. Yeah, because the air conditioning is the reason you have bruises. Uh-huh. Honestly, it sounds like an excuse I would make. I hate AC. Um, it's so loud. It's giving me bruises. Um, we are working on it. Seems like David likes to complain a lot. One minute later. Mom? Yes, David? Is someone else in the house? Ooh, oh gosh! <gasps> No, dot dot dot. Well, how does she know? She's not even home. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I hear this quiet snapping sound. It's just me. <laughs> snap, snap, snap. Something's dripping on me. What do you mean something's dripping on you? What What the heck? Could be the air conditioning. Mm-hmm. Could be. I'm scared, Mom. Show me what you're seeing. Oh gosh, am I about to see a picture? <gasps> oh hell no, uh, uh 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 Get out of there, sir. If you have that picture, why are you just sitting there like, mm, let me just take a, a quick little pic of this damn demon reaching his hands through the ceiling. I don't think so. <laughs> Turn off your flashlight. You're gonna scare the demon. <laughs> Do not take your hands or feet off the bed. She knows about demons. Okay. Listen to me and you will get out of this. <laughs> I love how she's like, I know all about demons with arms coming through the ceiling. Don't get off the bed. Oh, she's typing. Mom. Hello. Mom, I think I see a face. Oh my God, look. Oh, hell no. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was episode, chapter one or episode one. Guys, we need to continue. We need to know what happens in freaking episode two. Let's continue. I still hear it. WTF is happening. Answer my calls. Okay, so clearly he's trying to call his mom. David, please stay calm and listen to me. Are your hands and feet off the bed? Oh my gosh. She like knows some secrets about dealing with demons. Yes. Okay, do not move. He picks up movement and light. Oh my god, she knows who this demon is. He? <gasps> the family that lived in our house before us. Had a blind child. 
One day, the child was playing with crayons. He drew all over the walls and made a mess. And ta -ta, he's like, ooh, tell me more. Come on, mom, don't leave me hanging. The father was punishing the child. Ta -ta -ta. Okay, mom, come on, waiting on it. And what? <laughs> when the father was punishing the eight-year-old child, the child got scared from his dad yelling at him. And? And he tried to climb out of the basement window. And ended up falling and hitting his head. How does she know this? It's like she was the mom of that family, too. He died by accident. Jesus! That's not even the worst part. I love she's like, oh! Girl, you don't even know the full tea. Let me spill that tea right now real quick. They hid his body in the floorboards of the house. <laughs> what? Oh my god. By the way, I have a cankasaur. That's why I'm talking weird in this video, so if you're wondering. Um, reported him missing. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Honestly, yeah, why didn't she tell him? We didn't think he would come back. <laughs> what do I do now? The blind boy survives by attaching himself to a human. The reason he's grabbing at you at night is to see that you're a human and not a chair or something. He's like, are you a human or are you a chair? I can't tell. Right now, he cannot move. Do not turn on the light because that will anger him. Is he still blind? Yes. How does she know he's still blind? But he chose you for some reason. And he hasn't done that in many years. The last person he chose was his father. What happened to his dad? Oh, you freaking kidding me! Leave me damn hanging. Mom, you better tell me what happened to his dad. I bet you. All right, let's make predictions. I think the dad is her, his dad as well. I think this is like his brother from the past they didn't know about so let's all leave our predictions in the comments down below there's one chapter more let's give this video a thumbs up so i know you guys want to see me do a video ending this chapter um and yeah i guess that's it make sure you guys go check out the yarn app i will put a link down below of where you can check it out and if you feel like being spoiled you can go see what happens in episode three uh so yeah that's it for today i love you thank you so much for watching i love you i love you i love you <laughs> all right see y'all tomorrow good damn bye